ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, who's people in? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, hola, bonjour, guten tag. We are in Blair Gaudi today and we're going exploring. So we are so. walking, so, so, we are walking the streets of Blair Gaudi looking for inspiration and things to film today. Yes, indeed, thank you. No plans, we're just going to walk and, and uh, see well, what happens. First point of interest, right? Okay, we found something. Merchant, right here. And the Tesco over there used to be the actual yards where they would pack everything up and uh, deal with all the potato easters. This is a potato house. Right? Yes, that's it. Right, folks, this is a potato house. Right. Right, let's see if there's any potatoes lying about, folks. Can't see any potatoes. Can't see any spuds. No, it's a potato free zone. Not even a, not even a skin anywhere. No, no, no potatoes. Right, there's Jag at the court. Do you think that was an old cinema or something? We don't know. We shall investigate on return. So Poppy Tributes are still out here, folks. And this is Blair Gowdy. Um, do you know Square Circus? I don't know what it is. But I'm going to buy it. Okay. These are all unusual loafs here, folks. Nice. So he's trying to get in there. What's your shop called? The pit shop? Pit stop. Pit stop. With all the fancy breads and Thank you so much. sausage okay. rolls. Thank you. Next time you're in the gallery, folks, come to the pit stop, see this lovely lady, and she'll serve you all the best dinner rolls and fancy breads. Yes, yeah, awesome. Guess right, Thank folks. You. This used to be an old Willie's. That was the fair old Blair. To be an old woolly shop. And Jack's still down there in the Aspo shop speaking to the lady. News agents, folks, and they have got an Earl Willy annual. Excellent. And the balloons. Jack's testing out his dinner roll that he well, bought for mm. 4p. No, unfortunately, I think I need something with it. Just a bit. Jam or something. Up. Yeah, I need some, or some pate. pate. I'll save it for later. Okay. Yeah. So far, it's not a good score on the dinner roll amateur folks. No. Right, we have purchased a latte. Or a late, or a latey. <laughs> latte. I've got a late. It's late. Quite, quite, a, quite a milky. Thing. Got late, late and coissons and chowks. Chowks buns. Um, so we finished our wander around. Blair Gallery, we're just going to walk down beside there. The river Etricht, Etricht, Erricht, I don't know, the waterside. Right, folks, we have stopped here, riverside, with the weir and the old Blair Gallery Bridge. And we are having breakfast stop. I think that's where we're heading down there, folks. That looks like a some sort of jump. So we climb up these stairs and then along and back across the other bridge. Could be it folks, this could be Cargill's Leap, which is over here. So we're gonna go and check it out. Down more slippery steps so but be careful. No, it's not a cat, it's not. Oh, it's a false alarm, folks. Something to do with salmon. Oh, the more salmon. The journey of salmon. See the salmon come through here. The long salmon journey. Yeah. And uh, uh, I just want to wish all our American viewers happy Thanksgiving Day for the other day. Oh, yes. Hope you all had a nice, uh, nice time eating all your turkey and celebrations. So, so bro, what are you thankful yes. for in this world? I'm thankful for just being alive, being healthy, touch, well, healthy-ish, and just enjoying the free things in life. Best things in life are free, like a river viewpoint, for example. Somebody's lost a set of keys, by the way. Where? Oh. Cupboard keys as well. Sorry. Cupboard keys. What am I thankful for? I'm thankful for the iPhone and a selfie stick. <laughs> and See, for you, of course, bro. You're more materialistic. Yes. You see, my things were free, yours cost things. So yes, I suppose that's why that I fail miserably. Yes. Don't I right, this fail. could be now, folks, definitely. This could be the leap. What's it called again? Barnhill what? 
don't know what he said, can't remember what it's called. Anyway, we'll look. It's down here. See folks through the trees there. That is actually the old mill. We'll try and get a closer look just in a second, but that's it's kind of looming up there above the water. And I've gone for it, folks. Will we shout fall, fall, fall? No, we won't. We'll be sensible. And then Jai goes into the distance in this gully. It's a weird kind of thing. As you can see, folks, this is it. This is the big gully. It looks like an old train um, track, but it's not obviously, but um, I think it's called a mill laid, I don't know, but yeah, it's quite interesting. Right, that's where we were a minute ago, folks, just on the edge there. So let's continue. We've now ventured down to the water's edge, folks, got to be careful coming down here. Very slippy, a bit dangerous, so if you do come down, be careful folks, Jags just up there somewhere. Now we've just spotted a kind of rope swing bridge thing. Yes, nice. This car goes late, so we reckon he must have jumped maybe here. Jumped across there maybe. Okay, folks, this is the bridge. I see he's crying yet. Yeah, no, not yet. <laughs> well, there's no wheel. Well, it wasn't a wheel. Now through here folks, it's meant to be an old mill, another old mill, which we're going to go and try and have a, a wee look at, if we can get in. It's all fenced off. We just couldn't resist folks, the stairs, but we don't know where they go, and there's a lot of them. What's a disaster at the Jack Lid for Spiz page? The Spiz channel, the battery's run out oh, of my phone no. or something, I had this happened at that, the last time I went yeah. out to the boat. It just seems to suddenly just die on me. It told me there was 30%. So it's a disaster there for Jag folks. His camera's gone off again, his iPhone. So, um, it's strange. I remember mine went off a couple of weeks ago and it's kind of, well, it's come back on again, but. And it's telling me it's got 40%. 40% left, folks, and it's switching off. Why is it doing this? Please comment below. Why, when it says 40% left, an iPhone switches off? It's strange. Oh, 